OpenAI wrote history with fast adoption by the general audience. Nevertheless, it feels like we are on a high roller coaster and I keep asking myself, when it will change direction? How steep will be the fall? During the golden age of Java, related tools prefixed their name with a J to ensure traction. Even JavaScript got named on the same criteria. Today's hype uses a suffix G P T Chat GPT Pantas GPT But today we'll speak about Burp GPT. I know what you're thinking, but it's not that. Burp GPT combines Burp suit for web application security testing with OpenAI's GPT to perform passive scans to detect vulnerabilities and traffic-based analysis. In the words of Alexander Taye, its creator, the extension generates an automated security report that summarizes potential security issues based on the user's prompt and real-time data from burp-issued requests. So, the tool allows customized web traffic analysis that adapts to each user's demands. OpenAI acts as an augmenter of the human tester leveraging the capabilities of the burp suit. The free version available on GitHub requires Gradle to run. A pro version that promises to make things easier is available too. Like all the other tools, this can be a blessing or a curse. Depends on how people use it. The resources section contains more information on how to install and use the tool. Yes, you can find them on 505updates.com. This was Olympio GPT. Oh, sorry. This was Olympio Pope. Reporting from Transylvania, Romania. Search for and subscribe to It's 505, wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.